So we have you had a look at we've read the text. We have had a look at the phrase wild terror. And we found it on the top of page 37, second paragraph. I had a feeling of wild terror that I wasn't ready. It was happening too fast. So we had a quick think about some synonyms. And synonyms means words that are the same or similar. Okay, so synonyms for wild terror. They're not always going to be exactly the same. Because wild terror is a very, very good phrase on its own, isn't it? It's very quite descriptive without using many words. So we came up with scared, terrified, frightened, afraid, unnerved. We got a bit stuck down here, didn't we? Then we think of some more. Anxious, nervous, worried, petrified. Now I think we've only got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could use this as our tenth one if we wanted, actually, couldn't we? See where that comes. So now we're going to think of ordering them from the least scared to the most scared. Now, most of you in key stage one did our, what we used to call a shadeometer, didn't we? And we did kind of a rainbow from the least scared to the most scared. I had a quick go over mine, I haven't put all of mine on, and I have nervous as my least, scared as my middly, terrified. But actually, if we're going to add wild terror, I think that might come after terrified on mine. Now, you guys have all had a go at doing your own shade of it up. There's not a right or a wrong answer, but there's a discussion to be had about it. And we're going to use the ABC for our discussion. And these are the oracy skills. So if you're a year six, we did these a lot last year, didn't we? They're a way of having a discussion and making sure it's an effective discussion. So A, you agree. So I might say, I put nervous first. Did anyone agree? Anyone else put nervous first? So you might say, yes, Miss Wakefield, A, I agree with you. Okay? B is build off. So you might agree with me, but you might want to give me another reason. So you might say, yes, Miss Wakefield, I agree with you. I'd like to build on the reason why I put nervous first. Because actually, I think nervous is when you're only a little bit scared, whereas worry is when you're a bit more scared. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's where the discussion is. C is challenge, okay? So another way of doing it really politely when we're having an in-class discussion. Doesn't mean you're wrong, I'm right. It is actually, Miss Wakefield, I think that worried would come before nervous. I think when I feel nervous, I feel a bit more scared than if I was worried, all right? Or you might think, actually, no, I don't think scared's in the middle. I think scared's a bit more that way. So that's your way of challenging. That's what we're going to do with each other. So we're going to have a bit of a discussion so the children at home can kind of hear our discussion as well because they perhaps haven't been able to discuss and they are going to record on Seesaw for us whether they agree with us, want to build on or want to challenge us, which is going to be really good for us to hear as well. So I haven't put all mine on, but this is what I've got so far. Anyone want to ABC on what I've got so far? So I've got nervous and worried here, I've got scared and frightened in the middle, and I've got petrified and terrified. Yeah? I agree with petrified and terrified at the end. Okay, fabulous. Would you like to build on them? Is there a reason why you agreed with those as well? Oh, you're a little bit frightened. Whereas petrified and then terrified. In, um, you in the Harry Potter books, was it in the Harry Potter book we read? I know lots of you have read them. With the snake. Yeah. They, pe they become petrified, but actually they kind of get turned to stone almost, don't they? By the bas bas basilisk. Oh, yes. Basilisk. I never say. Um, so that, when I was thinking of the word petrified, that made me think about that. That was almost, they were almost turned to stone because they were so scared. And that's what I sometimes like, when you're really scared, you almost can't move, can you, sometimes? You're almost, and that's what I always associate now with the word petrified. Whether it's the actual meaning, but that's what reading books has made me think. Anyone else want to build on, or agree, or anything else? I want to build on terrified. Want to build on terrified, yeah? Because it sounds like it's kind of part of terror, terror because you look like terror. Yeah. And you're being kind of similar. Do you think that's, do you think terrified, like you say, has got that link with the word terror? They are both actually 
almost the same word, just a different way of saying the same thing. Whereas these others are quite, I mean, wild terror really makes you think that actually you're, like I say, absolutely terrified, don't you? To the point where you almost can't move. Do you ever, if you've been really, really, really terrified, you almost hold your breath and, I don't know, something wakes you up at night or something. Yeah, we know, don't we? Whereas actually, sometimes you're a little bit nervous about maybe coming back to school. Yeah, a little bit nervous about doing something new. But you still go and do it, don't you? Wild terror makes me feel like I don't want to do that. Actually, that I'm absolutely pe terrified, which I probably would feel as if I evacuate, wouldn't you? Anyone else from this side of the room want to build on anything here? No? Okay. So are you A, B, or C? Uh, C. You're seeing. <laughs> you're challenging me, yeah? Uh, because the terrified is like you're scared, okay. but not to an extent where you can't move. Okay. But then petrified is when you're like really so scared that you actually can't move. Okay, so you would swap petrified and terrified around, okay? I do wonder, because in the, in the text, the wild terror is related to her not wanting to leave her mum and go and be back with But she still does it, doesn't she? So maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you do. And there's nothing that you can change following on from discussions. You can change your mind. Just because you've written it down doesn't mean it's set in stone and you, that's all you can do. The whole point of the discussion is changing things around. Okay? So, what, um, we're going to stop in a second. But if you want to extend your learning a little bit more, you could explain, um, discuss the word wild as used with terror to, with terror to explain Olive's feelings.